Let's look at makeup for photography. <laughs> There comes a time in your photography when you don't want to just take photos anymore and you want to start making images. What I mean by that is you put more thought into your location, the background, the styling, the makeup, the hair, and the processing. So we're going to look at a part of that today in creating images and we're going to look at makeup. So we're going to meet up with my longtime hair and makeup person, uh, Ashley Bustamante, and she actually makes her own makeup as well, which is super cool. Uh, link in the description. Let's go check her out, and she's going to give us tips on makeup for photography. So the first and most important step is cleansing the face, making sure everything is off and there's no oils on the face. And then also moisturizing to make sure the face is extra moisturized and there's no dry patchy areas for the foundation to stick to. I'm using some micellar water to get off all the oils and anything that might be lingering on her face. And then I like to go in with a moisturizer and an eye cream. And after moisturizing, the next step is a primer, and this is really gonna help the longevity of the foundation. So I'm gonna go in with a moisturizing primer. We are young, we got it. Your heart, I want it. I know you are me. So just sit back and enjoy it. We are young. All right, so now that we are moisturized and prepped, we are going to start putting the foundation on. And we want to make sure that we are putting on a full coverage foundation that is more on the matte side so that her face isn't overly shiny. So there's some foundations that have kind of a shimmer in them. Not so much a sparkle, but it'll, it'll attract a light from um, different lighting sources, whether it's natural light, um, artificial light, and you just don't want that. That's why you want a matte base. Okay, so the next step after the foundation is on is we're going to be contouring and highlighting. And this is crucial in photography because in photography, all of the colors on your face, um, they, really, they really need to be enhanced because it gets really flat on camera. So you really need to enhance the natural bone structure so that it really comes out in the photograph. So you're gonna contour with two shades darker and you're gonna highlight with two shades lighter. And the rule of thumb here is you're putting the contour on the natural hollows of the face. So you have a natural hollow here on your, um, your cheekbone, your jawline, in the crease of your eye here, and then on the outside of your hairline. I don't care. Okay, and so then when you're highlighting, you're gonna be highlighting where light naturally hits your face. So it's gonna be the high points of your face. So you're pretty much your T-zone here, around the bridge of your nose, underneath your eye, just like this, this little triangle here, your chin, just like that. And then to brighten up around um, your smile lines right here. So on camera, 
the colors really fade, so you have to be more heavy handed with the colors that you use. Um, so especially with blush and eyeshadows, you have to make sure that you put on more than you usually would just going out during the day. Um, so make sure you're heavy handed with the blush. Okay, so next we are going to be highlighting the face with a powder highlight, and we're going to do this to really emphasize the cheekbones and once again the high points of the face. Okay, so next we're going to move on to brows, and it's really important that you have a very defined brow for photography. Um, well, for one, it makes and emphasizes the eyes but then also it really helps the photographer so that they don't have to go in and do any retouching. Okay, so for the look that we're doing today, we're just really enhancing the features. And so even when you're doing a very minimal look on camera, you still have to add some definition to the eyes. So it still isn't gonna look like she's wearing eyeshadow, but we still have to um, really cut the crease so you can see the definition in her eye. So we're gonna use um, very matte browns, no, um, no sheen or shimmer to them, just to carve out the shadow. So once again, even though we're doing a natural look, um, we don't want to make it look like she's wearing any eyeliner, but we really need to define the lash line so her eyes don't get lost. So we're just very lightly going over the lash line. We're not creating any kind of wing. We're just really enhancing that lash line to make it look darker. Alright, and a must is mascara. And this this step is not optional. You have to have mascara and always black. Black mascara, is you need it because the brown is not quite dark enough. And like I said, you have to really enhance the features and make it more dramatic. So black mascara and also I like to put lashes on all my clients. It really enhances the eyes. Even if, even if you are doing a natural look like we are today, it just really brings the whole look together. Like open your eye, like look at my nose and you can blink as much as you need to. They make these for beginners. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know how anybody can put like a bunch of mascara on someone and not get it all over their lids. I don't care how good you are. So that just helps me. Like, Tell me, baby, what we gonna do? She needs to burn the Okay, so to finish this look off, we're gonna put on a mauve lip. And you wanna make sure you have a little bit of a color into the lip, in the lipstick, not so much just a nude, but you need a little bit of a hint of color. And mauve seems to be the best, I think, for every skin tone. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> let me see. Let me see from far away first. Ooh. <laughs> I, I love it. I almost caught it and then you busted it up. I know. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try it again. There I'm Latina. Go. My whole life is that I'm doing. Okay. There you go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. If you haven't worked with a makeup artist before, I highly recommend it. They take care of a lot of the heavy lifting that you usually have to do in post-processing. Shout out to Ashley, thanks for helping me out. Also, sitting in and being an awesome subject, thank you Clarissa for your help today, that was awesome. If you like this content and wanna see more, subscribe, like it, and we will see you in the next video. No, God, you can't even, what do you do, right? <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. Putting like clear mascara on guys is like the best thing that ever happened to them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>